I did not like that wreath I did yesterday. So <laughs> I decided I'm going to redo it. So I took all the wreath attachments off. I just went ahead and did this. This is two candy canes attached, two Dollar Tree candy canes. And I have two in each section. Now I cut this mesh at 18 inches. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. All right, so I have 24 pieces of mesh, 10 inch mesh, cut at 18 inches. This has a lot of burlap in it. So I went ahead and I recorded making this uh, and I already downloaded it to YouTube only because I didn't want to be wearing a mask and coughing in everybody's face. Um, it's not good to breathe in burlap. So I took the opportunity um, to record it. I put my Norwex mask on and everything went smooth. And then I left the room and I added the, um, the air cleaner. Now, why are the comments not scrolling? Just when you get one thing working. Let me just type hello and see if it scrolls. Well, I guess it'll scroll. I guess it won't. Whatever. <laughs> so, so anyhow, I like this better. I think this is going to complement our, our ice cream cones. I just felt the wreath was too small for the height of these. Now I know for the next time um, to kind of shorten these ice cream cones and make them smaller, but they just look too out of place on that 14 inch wreath base. Hey Faith, how are you? All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Like I said, I already recorded this so you would see how I did it. Um, I already downloaded it to YouTube. This is a really good mesh. But boy, um, you've got burlap in the middle section. You've got burlap weave throughout, and the fibers were just going nuts. All right. So, my idea is, for those that weren't watching yesterday, I licked it so it's mine. Is the sign that we're going to put in. And I think I'm going to go right about there. Um, actually, I may go into the middle with it. I want to kind of get this in place first so then I can work around it. And boy, is this going to be easier to mount to the base because all I have to do is kind of push the sections apart instead of trying to weave through it like I was yesterday. Not sure what that stands for, if it was meant for me, Susan. <laughs> hey, Regina. Hey, miss. How are you? We're having a redo here. I did not like how that sign turned out. I think you guys were all so sweet for telling me how good it looked. But I, I absolutely hated it. So it's time to, to redeem myself. I went ahead and um, put two candy canes together for those just joining. I did two in each section. I just did 10 inch mesh with a 18 inch ruffle. Okay, see, I like that better. And I'm, I'm going to take this down the road. There's a ice cream stand, a young man who's putting an ice cream stand outside and I thought it'd be so cool to tell him about this. Maybe he'll want to add it. So my idea is, see now they look like they fit better. You know what I mean? The other one, these were just too big for it. So my idea is to put those like that. So I'm going to put this one on because I have, I think this will be so cute. I have some snowball mesh and I thought I would put some of that in between. 
I have tails if I want to do that, and I also have deco mesh tubing to make it look like chocolate sauce, right? So that's the plan. Isn't it? I I just I was so overwhelmed by that wreath. I I just <laughs> I hated it. I actually hated it, and I thought you guys are all being so sweet, telling me it looks great. I thought it stunk. <laughs> I know you guys are all trying to be supportive, but ugh. I'm just trying to figure out here. I think what I'll do is, I just think this will just be so much cooler. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to mount it. Maybe I can put this down through the middle or grab a little bit of it oh thanks that's so sweet faith all right i think what i'm going to do is just kind of wrap this in here actually could just hot glue it right to the I use pipe cleaners they just go so much better when you're doing it this with this uh, method I'm gonna just glue it down so I've got that heating up so I thought this looked really cool because it's pulling out the polka dots I just thought that was a nice choice and I like this. I thought this picked up the green. It picked up um, like the cream, the orange cream. Ooh. And I went back by my favorite place today. Hey, Esther, the one that I get my milkshakes from. And I almost pulled over because I have been so hungry for ice cream since we did this last night. So I have some of these if I want to add those. But let's just add a few of these first and then see how we want to go from there. But see that? That, to me, is how we want it. We want these to stand out, not the wreath and all the busyness that was on there. Like I said, ugh, it was bad. I don't even think I'm going to upload that one. <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave it where it is and upload this one. Because I already uploaded to YouTube on how to um, how to do this method on the candy cane. In case anybody didn't know how and wanted to know how. So I recorded it. It's already uploaded. But I thought this would just be a nice pop of color in here. Now... No, I think you're right. Because that's what I... This is a purple. This is a purple with some specks on it. I just thought that would look kind of like Dippin' Dots or whatever they sell on the boardwalk. Are you talking about this one? Because this is purple. You don't think I need that? Is that what you were saying, Missy? I'm just going to put three in here, just for a little punch, just a little punch of color. Hey, LaVon, there she is, there's my girlfriend, let's see, where my pipe, there we go, I'm just going to put that there, because then it pulls this purple out, hey, Nanny Dot. I'm just putting a little glue down there and I'm just pushing this right into the glue in the center because I just want it to kind of stick out just like that and y'all see I get to see my grandkiddos this weekend the ones I haven't seen since Christmas in the owl <gasps> ouch 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 that was dumb and I still haven't put my, I can't find my aloe. I had it down here in a little container. And now I can't find it. 
see? Doesn't that look better? So much better. I'm loving it now. Last night I was hating it. And I'm like, you guys are just being too nice. It was ugly. <laughs> Doesn't it? Makes it pop a little. You set it, Regina. I had to redeem myself because that was pretty bad. <laughs> I wanted I wanted it to highlight the cones, and that's what was missing. Like, all that stuff was just so busy. And we're allowed to make mistakes. That was a big mistake. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> all right. And I love this. Wouldn't this be great if it was creamsicle ice cream? Like, right now? I'm telling you. Before the week's out, I'm going to go down and I'm going to get that milkshake. Now I'm going to put that this way. Isn't that looking so much better? Have you ever done that? Like made an ugly wreath? <laughs> or am I the only one that makes ugly wreaths? I know, I can't wait to see them. I have not seen them since Christmas. They have not seen the new grandchildren yet. Come on, where's the thing at? There it is. So, and they're coming from a hot spot. So I, they've been quarantining. So we're hoping everybody's okay. Oh, isn't this gonna look, I have got to take this up to them and show them and say, look, I'll let you just hang it up. Maybe somebody will like it. I think he's a young man. I know his father. I know his grandfather. And he's got a little shed that he's turning, a brand new shed that he's turning into a little ice cream stand. And I think that is awesome. Oh, that one popped out. Dang, pipe cleaners. You think? I cut more. Let me get the cones in. And we'll see where we can add some. So I'm going to leave room for a bow. I don't know. I might want to put that there. No, I'll put that right here. I just love this sign. One of my first signs that I made. So how y'all doing? Good? Save this area here for the bow. So let's see. I have more of this. Maybe... I'll just tuck them in here and see where we want to go. I think if I add one there, it's going to be too close. I want to add like five. So let's, because I like doing the odd numbers. So I can put one down here. And then I'll put another one up here. How's that? I will not burn myself. And this is just snowball mesh cut at 10 inches. There we go. Just a little pop. Hanging in there. Yeah, I think one right there. I'm trying to find like the middle and just make it like a inverted umbrella there and then just glue this right to the pipe cleaner i 
How's that looking so far? Am I redeeming myself? It's like I said, that other one was really bad. So let's see. Now I have this I can add. I also have some deco mesh. I used this last night. It kind of looked like the um, chocolate sauce. And I thought this would pop nice against the tan mesh. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll just put this down in the middle of the purple. What's your thoughts? Put this in the middle of the purple. Look like chocolate sauce down in there. Won't stay. Let me get a, a pipe cleaner and we'll... We'll tie one in there, and then you can give me your honest opinion. Okay. So. I want to get this in the middle, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to go through that mesh. So, just down from it then. My husband is outside redoing a deck. I don't know if you can hear the... Just trying to see where this will look best. What do you think of that? Honest opinion now. Do you like that? Just gives it a little glitter. I've got it on top of this ice cream cone because I was trying to match the one in the picture. Give me some hearts if you love it. If you think it looks good. There. I can spread the mesh around it. Just a little pop of color there. What do you think? What's the ha-ha for? What's the angry face for? No angry faces. No. If you don't like it, just say you don't like it. We don't need angry faces. We don't like angry faces. <laughs> There we got some heart. <laughs> All right. We'll do a couple more. How's that? The replay for what, Kay? This I already made on a, on a, I recorded making this earlier and I already downloaded it. Now we're just adding the attachments. Um, these were attachments I used last night on a wreath, and I absolutely hated it. So, um, I'm redoing it. Because <laughs> it was bad. You know, you have an idea in your head. You get all the colors. You know they're all going to work together. But it was just the fact that the um, wreath attachments were too big for the wreath. The cones were were really too big. And so the only way I felt they would fit is if I went with a bigger bigger wreath. And this swag is made with a Dollar Tree candy cane. Um, what did I say? There's 20 some 20 some ruffles on here. There's two in each section. And, and you'll see in the video, when I put the two together, you actually overlap the ends and zip tie them together. But this is what I was trying to accomplish last night with the, the colors, and it, it just wasn't doing it. It needed, these needed to be highlighted, and they were getting lost, not to mention too big, so... This is how 
I wanted it to look and <laughs> it didn't look and everybody was so sweet there what do you think no no there's so much um, burlap in this I had to wear a mask um, I had to leave the room afterwards and turn the air filter on the air cleaner it was bad so yeah I you didn't miss anything and and you can watch it from the beginning it's just showing you how I put these on here and the sign but this base was done on a lot you know on a recorded and I'm sure somebody will have a problem with it because it really couldn't hear me too well with the uh, mask on but I had myself protected because it can really clog up my my nose so we're just adding some chocolate sauce to it now that's what we're doing And this, the fibers are flying around a little bit, but not as much as they were when I was putting it together. So that's a relief. I was just trying to go in between the ruffle here. There we go. And see, so you can just push them out of the way. Because that's all I did. I just tucked two in each section. I don't see any of my business buds in here. They probably forgot. We're actually using buddies to do the sharing so we can stay on task and not um, you know not cause people to leave <laughs> people don't want to see us sharing they want to see us working so we've developed a system to share 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 and the person making the wreath just stay busy because you guys, you know, you've got valuable time. Don't want to waste it. I so appreciate you popping on, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did. This sign is listed in my Etsy shop. I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on how to make the cones and listing that in there too. Because these were just like prototypes. There was a lot of altering along the way. So. I'm liking how that pops out of there. There we go. And one more. Hey, Joy. Joy, it came through as two separate orders. So I will put both in the same envelope and credit you the extra shipping. Okay. We did this wreath. I already did the base and downloaded the video on how I did the base, which is two candy canes together. And now we're just putting the wreath attachments on and revamping. You ordered both of them. It showed you ordered the it showed you ordered Life Happens, Coffee Helps, and Coffee Hug in a Mug. But it came through as two separate orders and it charged you extra for shipping. So I'll just put them both in the same envelope and credit you the extra shipping that you were charged. 
Is that okay? Okie dokie. All right. Doesn't this just look so much better? Oh gosh, I'm loving it. All right, now let's see if we want to add some ribbon. I'm not sure if we want to add tails or not, but I thought we could try a few. And then you can give me your honest opinion, yes or no. Honest. Okay. And if these are too big, I can cut them down. Let's see, by putting my ruffles in already, I can just go in between them. And it's easy right down to the base. So you tell me yay or nay. You're so welcome. And I made these tails at 13 inches. Let's put another one in so then we can see if we want them. Actually, I might move this one up here and put that one there. I want that color up by that um, cone. So let's put this up here. And then you tell me, LaVon, if you honestly think it looks better. LaVon's my anchor. Her and Missy, they'll tell me if they don't like it. <laughs> they'll give it to me straight. Okay, there's the one. And then let's get this one down here. But see how this mesh is highlighting the cones better than yesterday's mesh? Put a nice big old bow, juicy bow. And we've got the polka dots in the sign. We've got all these colors in the sign. Okay, we're just those. Actually, I can pull them out to the side here. Let's do that. That looks better. That way they're not crowding the, the uh, wreath sign. Okay, what do you think of it with the ribbon tails? Yay or nay? Anybody? Or did I put you to sleep already? Okay, I see a thumbs up. Levine, what's your thoughts? Give it to me straight.
Okay, Regina says it looks good. See, I'm leaving the pipe cleaners long. I cut them in half when I did the uh, the mesh. Thank you, Joy. I made those. Tried to match the sign with them. I was going to make the fudge one, chocolate covered one, but I didn't, I know I have pipe, I know I have um, popsicle sticks in this house somewhere and I didn't want to go out and pay $4 for another thing of popsicle sticks when I already have them here. So I'll have to do that another time when I come across them. All right. And I think what I'll do is I'll put another one of those brown ones down here over here and then we'll do the bow right here <clears throat> there are a lot of things I can't do Hey, Levine. I thought you were here, and then you weren't. Is Harless okay? I wanted your opinion on the ribbon tails. If you think they're they're good or not. I know what this needs like wouldn't it be cute don't you think with like cherries like maybe you know like a red pom-pom here a red one here just kind of making it look like we got cherries all over the place all right now I think we'll go ahead and we'll do our bow going to use this one or am I going to use this one first I think we'll use the, the brown first I think I'm going to do like a 12 inch tail and about a 6 inch loop 5 or 6 I'm liking the three loops with the two tails. So I think I'm sticking with that. All right. Oh, that'll be neat. I, um, I have coffee ribbon coming in too. I know, right here, right? What do you think? Some uh, cherries? Or maybe 
maybe a ribbon tail up there. Maybe some cherries. What do you think, Regina? Make sure my loops are the same size, yep. Yep, cherries. What I was trying to do was find little red Christmas balls. <laughs> but that wasn't happening in my mess. Let's see, I'll go with this one next. But yes, I have, I have cherries that we can add. No, that's the signs going here. So the sign I could hoist it up a little. But the signs already in place. Yeah, it needs some cherries. Cherries it is. That's probably not a bad idea, Regina. We could do that. Sure. Well, you guys are really contributing today. I really appreciate it. Helping me out. Yeah, we could do, actually, we might be able to just do a bow with the smaller ones up there, the two smaller ones. Okay, zippy tie. We can make a small bow and just add a red pom-pom to the middle to make it look like a cherry. How's that? Do you like that idea? <laughs> no problem, Susan. Susan's the one that came up with the idea for the coffee signs. And Joy just bought both of them. So, thank you, thank you. All right, we'll put on the bow. And then we'll do the little cheater bow up the top. I don't need all this, so we're going to trim some of it off. I got coffee ribbon coming in, Susan. So if you can't find it, it's coming. I just ordered a bunch of ribbon to match the signs. Some really unique ribbon that nobody has right now, so, or that they've already run out of. Because she'll probably come up with another sign before the ribbon comes in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just mail it all together.
got that bow. Now let's do a little one for the top. And so I don't end up throwing this out. I'm just going to put the loops over top of it and use that. And I'll do the same for this one. No, actually, I already put that one in, didn't I? Yep. All right. Let's make our loops. Yep. All the time, Susan. <laughs> Especially when my grandson's here. I've been trying to get my signs listed. I got two more to go, two Christmas ones to put on, or winter ones. And then I have some bows yet to add. All the dogs seem to need a grooming. My husband needs a haircut. So it's going to be a busy night again. I don't think I want the tails that long. Thank you, Regina. I appreciate it. And I also have um, tinsel tie coming in. It says I licked it, so it's mine. <laughs> My brother used to do that when we were little with the Pop Tarts. He would lick the Pop Tart and say, Nana, it's mine. And to be a smart aleck, I should probably mail this to him but his wife would throw it out, so she doesn't like me too much. That's okay. The day will come. Now, uh, did you see the, the one last night, Regina? I think this so far outweighs the one from last night. It looks so much better. That's me every day, Susan. Now let's see where we can get this in here. It's kind of easy with this frame too. Get things in between the ruffles. I know, right? Oh, well. It is what it is. You know how when someone passes away, there's always somebody that has hurt feelings. And it's like, well, if you were there, it would be even. But, oh, this is so much more what I had in mind. Don't you think? That's right. Nothing's going to bother me. My grandkids are coming in this weekend. And I have not seen them since Christmas. So, nothing's going to bother me. How do you like that? They glued the ribbon. Well, we're just going to have to turn it under. 
You don't want that side showing. I think I need to make these a little smaller. I mean, I could still add some cherries. Stubborn bow. get some cherries. <laughs> I was hoping I'd had bigger ones, but these are good. Just to give it a little punch here and there, maybe. Or maybe not. Going for the bigger one. Nah, I don't like it there. Maybe just in a few places on the wreath. Got some big ones and then some small ones. Maybe. One down here, and one over here. Okay, what do you think? Honest, honest, honest opinion now. Boy, we got a delay before I put you to sleep. <laughs> Levon, what do you think? This can go over here, I think. Yeah. Well, better put the glasses on. Now, you love this. The one last night was a total bomb, right? This is what I wanted. Whimsy and to highlight the cones and that other wreath just wasn't doing it. Woo! Yay! <laughs> right? But doesn't it all work now? The size of the cone works so much better in this than the little 14 inch wreath. I don't have the other one down here. I'm feeling it now. This is this is what I wanted. Right? Why do I do that? <laughs> do you really you like last night's? All right, I'll put them both on the website and I'll say, let's vote this one or that one. I'm just going to glue these in place. I thought my Z girl would be on here from Bulgaria. I guess she fell asleep.
we got cherries all over it. Just enough to give it a little pop. Right? Definitely needed the length. It was just awful, that other one. <laughs> I, I so appreciate everyone telling me it looked good. That was just so sweet. But, and, you know, hey, my husband said, well, you got to give them what they want. I said, they were just being nice. <laughs> it didn't look good at all. He's just looking at all my wreaths that are sitting around because I haven't put them on Etsy yet. Because... I don't think anybody's going to buy them because I don't think anybody's going to want to pay the shipping on them. So I haven't sold any because I didn't list any. So that's what he's thinking. I'm not, I'm not making what everybody wants. I'm just making them to what my vision is and then I don't sell them <laughs> because nobody likes them. I didn't tell them I'm not listing them because I don't think they'll want to. They'll want to pay the shipping. Good, I'll mail that one to you, Levon. <laughs> you can put it on your door. <laughs> How sweet! I love you. So thoughtful. And and it, to some people. I'm, I'm sure, but that wasn't my vision. You've done that with painting, haven't you? Where you've painted something and it just wasn't your vision? That was not my vision. That was my nightmare. <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't listed any of my wreaths because, like I said, I don't think people are going to want to pay the shipping. I'm hearing horror stories about how much it costs to ship stuff and, you know, I'll, I'll do this. I'll put one on and see what happens. I, I've been, I've been posting them local, um, on Facebook. We have a buy and support local and I've sold two on there. And somebody loved my strawberry one, but I haven't heard any more. And then I took some of my wreaths apart that just needed to be revamped. And I sold the bows from the wreaths. I've sold one. See? You think it's a mess, but somebody else probably didn't think it was a mess. That wreath last night, to me, was a mess. <laughs> this one is what I wanted. <laughs> so now I feel like I did the sign justice. So there we go. And I just may walk this, take this up to the guy that is opening up his own ice cream store and see if he'd be interested in it. Yeah. And that's the thing, you, you know, a lot of my wreaths have like these all personal handmade stuff like my gnome, my 4th of July gnome wreath she, she scarfed that up right away. Now she's interested in my strawberry one, so I'm hoping she comes through on that one, too. I know, right? I, I couldn't do that. But yet, it is a one-of-a-kind, so maybe I should just try putting one on with the shipping included. Would you do shipping included or shipping extra? Oh, list them with shipping included. Okay, I'm reading back. All right. I'll try one. 
I'll try one and see what happens. Maybe I'll put my fall gnome wreath on there, but that one has two handmade gnomes, the little girl and the little boy. So I don't know. I'll give it a shot. You guys have, have encouraged me, so I'll do it. Included. Yes, it is an art. And for those who weren't on last night, white and cream and mint are the color for Christmas. And blue and orange are the color for fall. So I did I did uh, manage to find some really nice mint. And um, so that should be coming in soon. So that will be, be good. All right, I'm going to say goodbye. And thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting me. And um, we'll see you Tag Team Tuesday. I go on at 6 o'clock and Willie will be on at 7 o'clock. We haven't picked a theme for that night, so um, I'll be sure to let you know, okay? My gnome one was made with the blue and orange. In fact, I, I showed you, I spray painted my, uh, my ribbon. I have a really good burlap ribbon, and I spray painted it with the paint and primer. Big seller. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.